Oh Did my see that? gosh. So Max and I are here at PetSmart. We're actually picking up something and we came over to take a look at the fish because we always do. We don't necessarily buy fish from PetSmart, but sometimes you find something that's special and we found something that's special. So we're gonna talk to somebody about this fish and see if we can maybe take this poor little guy home. We do have this fish here. He has special needs. He has been here for a little while. No one has really wanted him and stuff like that. So seeing that he is in good condition and stuff like that, knowing that you have a good home for him to go to, if y'all would like to take him, y'all are welcome to um, take him home and see what y'all can do with him. We'll take him then. You'll bag him up and uh... Yeah, we'll keep you updated. All right, perfect. Thank cool. you so much. Thanks. We came in here fully intending on paying for this dude, and they gave him to us for free because we're the only ones that have asked about him. We've been the only ones that have even considered buying him, and I honestly think he's the coolest fish in the tank. So we're going to take him home. We're going to grow him out. We're going to get him into the pond. What's going on, everybody? Well, we're back for another video today, and today we're going to introduce you to this special fish that we picked up at PetSmart. We'll get to that in just a minute, but before we do, I wanted to let you you know I'm going through a rebrand for all my plant sales. Soon it's going to be completely rebranded to freshwaterscrub.com. That's right, freshwaterscrub.com. Let's talk about what a freshwater scrub is. I'm a freshwater scrub. Are you a freshwater scrub? What is a freshwater scrub? Well, a freshwater scrub is somebody who only keeps freshwater fish, freshwater tanks, planted tanks, things of that nature. No salt water in this fish room. Well, at least for now. I mean, I may have one salt water tank eventually, maybe with like a, I don't know, a mantis shrimp. We'll have to see. But anyway, I am totally a freshwater scrub. So are you a freshwater scrub? Well, if you are, go visit freshwaterscrub.com and pick up some aquarium plants. Most aquarium plants on freshwaterscrub.com are going to be right around $5, which is a fantastic deal. I mean, it's a, it's a great value for what you're getting for $5. But let's take a look at some of these plants that we're selling on freshwaterscrub.com. So looking at this right here, this is something called wisteria. It's a really cool plant that's kind of, it, it fills out does really well uh, it kind of looks like a weed almost but it does really really well in tanks and is super cool for filling in areas around trees and things like that when you're trying to make it more foresty and things of that nature looking over here we got this really cool radican sword super super cool sword it's uh, related very closely and part of the same species as our little Amazon sword here, which is another great sword. Super easy to keep for all the beginners out there. We also have a Kleiner bar sword, another great easy plant for beginners. Doesn't take a lot of crazy light. This plant right here is called Kabamba and Kabamba is another great plant. However, Kabamba is actually illegal in a lot of states in the United States. So if you decide to buy something, make sure that you check to see if you're legally allowed to own it. We will absolutely check every order and if somebody from an illegal state orders it, we will contact you and let you know and we'll substitute it for something else. But another cool plant if you're allowed to have it. Some broadleaf Ludwigia right here, super cool plant and you can see, so before it was really, really green and when you get the right light on it, it'll turn a really deep red and it's starting to do that in my tank here. Coming across here, we have some Rotala rotundifolia, which is a really cool plant as well and this stuff you can take the trimmings and the trimmings will actually continue to grow and a new plant I've never kept before this right here is called a banana plant Have you ever seen one of these it's a super cool looking plant looks like a whole like grouping of bananas and what will happen is is it'll grow these leaves and then eventually once it grows enough leaves it will float to the top and it becomes a floating plant you don't plant it you just let it sit it does fantastic and of course our good old Java ferns Look at how pretty and green that thing is. Amazing plant there as well. Coming up here to the top, this plant that's floating right here, that is actually called a red flame sword. It's another member of the same family as all these swords over here. It does really well and it'll turn a really, really good looking red color under the right light conditions and you can tell it's starting to turn red for me there. And then we have some embolia. Embolia is another great plant that actually will do really well in low light, low tech situations. And then over here we have some anacharis. Anacharis is a great green plant, but anacharis is 
another one of those plants like the Cabamba there that is illegal in a lot of states. I think it's about 13 states in the US. I'm gonna list all that stuff at freshwaterscrub.com as far as what the list is as of today. Now granted, all of these are just sitting in this tank for the purpose of you being able to see them and it's good for the guppy fry that are in here to have a hiding place so they don't get eaten. There's a bunch of fry that just, oh, there's one right, right, right there. No, right, right there. You can kind of see him, yep whole bunch of fry in there. So a whole bunch of fry in this tank, but great for the fry to hide and not get eaten. And then down here we have some Bacopa. And Bacopa is also one of those plants that are illegal in a few states, not nearly as many as the Anacharis and the Cabamba, but it is illegal in a few states. Some of the other plants that we're gonna be offering is some of this Amazon frog bit that's up here, which you can pick up now some Christmas moss that you can see back there, as well as this red tiger lotus, which is a super colorful plant and another one that's super easy to care for, that you don't have to have a lot of light, crazy light requirements, no CO2, those kinds of things. You can see our Christmas moss growing up off that tree branch right there. So we're gonna have all kinds of plants listed. A couple of other things is we have all these Madagascar lace bulbs that are in this tank here. Those types of bulbs are also going to be for sale. Look at how well the Java ferns and the swords and everything else are doing in here. This Madagascar lace bulb right here, such cool plants. If you look in that guppy breeding tank right there, it is absolutely full of jungle valve. All right, looking at this tank here, there's my new, uh, there's my new bed of fish and he is super cool. So one of the questions I asked you in the last video was, what was the first thing you noticed about this guy? Yes, the color pattern is amazing, but the first thing I noticed about him personally was that he has blue eyes. Look at the blue eyes on him. So cool. Such a pretty fish. I also asked people to drop names for this guy in the comments. And I think one of the most clever names that I got was CP. And CP is the initials for clown puke. <laughs> Cause he does look like clown puke, right? He looks like a clown just puked up something and there he is. So clown puke may have to be his name, I don't know. But if you guys wanna drop other name ideas, please let me know. <laughs> Cause clown puke, I don't know. But anyway, so we also have these dwarf aquarium lilies that are going on freshwaterscrub.com as well as things like hornwort. So hornwort is a great, great plant. It's easy to grow. It propagates on its own very easily and you don't have to have crazy light. Another thing that's great about hornwort is this is a great plant for removing nutrients from your water, such as nitrates. So it's a great plant to help keep your nitrates low in your tank, but this tank is looking fantastic. But like I said, most plants at freshwaterscrub.com are going to be $5 with the exception of the Java fern and the swords, they're gonna be $6. So make sure you go out and you pick up some plants. I will give you one free plant, just a random surprise plant with every five plants that you purchase. So with that, let's get back into this video and talk about our new little fish. All right, well here's our new little fish. And now this fish may not look special to you, but he is in fact special, and he's very special for a very special reason. Can you tell why he's special? We'll let him swim around a little bit before we get him into this quarantine tub. So what I need you to do is tell me what's special about this guy. Let me know down in the comments. We're gonna go ahead and get this dude acclimated to his new home, which is gonna be this tub quarantine tank right here. So this tub quarantine tank was put together for our tiger shovel nose hybrid and our red tail catfish, which have both been moved into bigger grow out tanks. And this has become my quarantine tub going forward. So we're gonna go ahead and get him quarantined. That way we can get him into a permanent home later on. But for right now, he will be perfectly fine in here. This dude has been fully acclimated and is ready to go into this quarantine tub. So we're gonna let him go, but I'm still wondering, have you commented below and let me know what makes this guy so special? And why is it that somebody wouldn't want this fish? I mean, this is an amazing fish. And there he goes, he's up under the rock. Where'd you go, little dude? Oh, there he is, look. He's like, hey, hey guys, how you doing? Let me introduce myself. 
My name's Willie. Actually, I don't know what his name's gonna be. You can give me a name in the comments if you want. I mean, Willie sounds good. Look at him. Why would we call him Willie, though? See if this little dude will eat. Oh, yeah, he's eating. Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh, guys. Do you see that? Do, do you see that? Oh, my goodness. Guys, do you see that? That is absolutely crazy. That fish, he only has one eye. Yes, I know. That, that's why we got him. He only has one eye. So, I think it's extremely sad that people wouldn't buy him because he only had one eye. She said that he's been there for a long time. So I talked to her after we filmed that segment with her and she said that he's been there for almost three months and they weren't really sure what was gonna happen. They thought they were gonna have to make him like the store mascot or something because nobody would buy him. Like, why would people not buy that fish just because he only has one eye? I mean, that's a great characteristic about him. I mean, it makes him special. He makes him way more special than the other regular koi that were in there. So, of course, like we do, we brought him home. And we're going to give him the best home. So he's going to stay quarantined there. And once we figure out that he's okay, we're going to see how he does just simply because of the fact that I don't really know how one eye is going to affect the fish. I, I really don't. But what he'll end up doing is going into our outdoor pond with our Shabunkin goldfish. And that's just simply because he is a hardy cold water fish and can stay out during the winter time and things like that. But before we introduce him to one of our established systems, we want to make sure that he is perfectly fine and that this eye loss isn't from some sort of illness or something like that. So we'll quarantine him and we'll keep giving you updates on this little guy until we're ready to move him. But he, he's a really cool looking fish. Don't you agree? Make sure you go ahead and drop names down in the comments on what you think we should call this little dude. We have Clown Puke the Beta. Uh, we have Bertha and Dorothy and Dewberry who are our, our moon crabs. We got old Carl who's our robo hamster. And in fact, there's gonna be a new hamster video coming soon because we're about to make him an epic new enclosure. We got Gerald, who is our corn snake. Speaking of Gerald, he is shed. I need to go get his, his shed out of his tank. We have all kinds of crazy animals here in the fish room. It's not just fish, but make sure you drop a name for this new one-eyed koi down in the comments because, well, I mean, honestly, he'd greatly appreciate it. This dude is doing fantastic in here. He is swimming around, looking around, but we will totally keep you updated on his quarantine process. And I really hope that that eye issue is a birth defect or something of that nature and wasn't due to some sort of an illness. And that's because I really happen to like this fish and I like for him to stick around. And I hope he doesn't have some sort of a disease, but if he does, we will treat him and make sure that we give him the best possible care. With that, hopefully you went on to enjoy this video and hopefully you like this new one-eyed koi, make sure you drop a comment below and let us know what we should name this little guy because he will end up in our pond and hopefully he grows out to be a nice, healthy adult koi that lives out there for many, many years. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that and turn on your notification bell, as well as follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links to both are down in the description below. And visit freshwaterscrub.com and pick up some aquarium plants while they're on sale for $5 a piece. So with that, guys, I am truly grateful for all the support you guys give the channel. Thank you so very much. And hey, Hey, we'll see you next time.